Good morning. I'm so happy to see you today. I hope you had so much fun yesterday looking for your t -t -t sound. But today is art day. We are making a creation using our t -t sound and I can't wait to tell you what it is. But first, let's welcome in the day. Do you have your sun? Hey. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit at sick and my bottom is on the floor, my legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance him on your shoulders, dance him on your head. Dance him on your knees and tuck him into bed. Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our spaces with bright shiny faces and I say to you, good morning to you. Good morning, Miss Alexa. Good morning. What's your name? Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Hooray! Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Good morning, but what good morning day of the week is it today? Hmm, it's art day and that day is normally a... Oh, I know you know it. Let's take a look at the calendar. Ready? If yesterday was Monday and tomorrow will be Wednesday, it means today is... Oh, Tuesday! Today is Tuesday, but what is the date? Hmm. Can you help me please? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Today is Tuesday, June sixteen. This on Mudfest, el 16 de junio. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. Los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Sábado, domingo son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes. Viernes, sábado, domingo. Sunny, 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 sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? S U N N Y is sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? C L O U D Y cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R A I N Y is rainy. 
Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, 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 windy. Is it windy in the sky? W I N D Y, windy. Is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? S N O W Y is snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? What's the weather like today with you? Is it hot or is it cold? It's kind of humid here. You know that day, those days where it's hot and it feels a bit damp on your skin? So I'm going to sing about it being humid, but you sing about the weather with you and we'll meet at the end of the song. Ready? I know a day just like today and humid was the weather. H-U-M-I-D, 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 and humid was the weather. Today is art day, so let's take a look at what we will do today. Today, we are going to make a turtle. And the reason I came up with this idea was because I was looking and researching places in South America, especially rainforest covered areas, because a lot of South America is covered in rainforest. It's very famous for it. And I came across a place called La Tortuguera National Park. It's a national park, which is a conservation area for turtles. Now there are a lot of other animals live there, but they mainly protect a species of turtle, the green turtle, which is endangered and it is in Costa Rica, which is in South America. I have a little picture I'd like to show you of one of the turtles that's going out into the ocean. This is Tortuguero National Park. Now this is just a part of it, this is the beach part. So it says that during the months of October to December, this is when the turtles come and they nest on the beach, they lay all the eggs on the beach. And because it's a conservation area, to conserve means to keep the place safe. It's a safe place for the turtles to go and lay their eggs where nobody um, can harm them. Um, that's including animals and uh, obviously other human beings. So it's wonderful. I thought this was fantastic. And you can see the weather like it's very hot and humid. It's a, a rainforest covered sandbar. And um, it's a very, it has a very hot and steamy climate. So when I talk about it being humid in South Carolina today, it's nowhere near as hot and steamy as it would be here. So I thought we could make our own tortuga, our own turtle. Let's see what we have on the tray. Now, as I always say, you can substitute any of these materials. You just get the idea of how we make it and you use whatever you have in the house. Remember, every day is Earth Day. So on here, you, you know I use this paper all the time and I'm nearly running out of it. I found some scraps of my um, kind of green and colourful papers again and I actually pre-cut some out into um, hexagons. Pre-cut them out into hexagon. Now hexagon is a shape with six sides. Six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Because turtles have that pattern on their back and it looks to me like hexagons a lot of the time. So I was going to make my turtle pattern out of my green bits of paper. And I pre-cut those, but you can cut those however you would like. It's your artwork. Painter's tape. I have a paper plate. I had some spare lying around the house, but you can just use cardstock, empty cereal box, whatever it is you have. I have a pair of adult scissors. Remember, you use scissors that are your size. And if you need help with this part, please ask somebody responsible in your house. That means your mom or your dad, your mom or your dad, or an older sibling, older brother or sister, okay? Or maybe your nanny they can help you. I have some glue in here. I just have some school glue, clear school glue, that's what I've been using right now. Excuse me, I dropped my paintbrush. But you can use prick stick, a glue stick, whatever glue that you need, or you can use tape. And I also have some green cardstock too, which um, I'm going to use for the arms and the legs. Okay, are you ready? Let's do our first part. First, I'm going to take my paper plate. I'm going to make a little cut just up to the middle. Guess I'm right about where the middle is. Do my scissors. Corta, 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 go. Just up here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'd like my table to kind of have like a humpback. I want it to be more, more of a 3D shape. I'm going to fold it over. Do you see what I did there? Fold it over. And all I'm going to do on the inside is I'm going to take, use some of my painter's tape and stick it on the inside. I really do like the painter's tape because it's not super, super sticky. And if I make a mistake, I can tear it off easily. How it sticks up now. Now what I actually did with mine is I stuck, I wanted to give it kind of a texture because whenever you see a turtle they look very kind of rough on the outside. So I'm going to use the painter's tape all over the top, kind of act as like a, I guess an, an under layer, an understory layer. We're going to talk about those layers of the rainforest soon. So what I was doing was I was taking some of my painter's tape, you can tear this too without the scissors, it's kind of nice, and sticking it all over the top. You do not have to do it this way. You can cover yours in tissue paper, you can cover it in markers, colour it in, whatever you would like to do. And obviously if you want to cover it in tape too, you can use it, the green tape. Oh, my tape become unstuck. There we go. As you can see, I'm kind of roughly doing it because I quite like the texture that it makes. And I'm going to cover my whole plate in the painter's tape, just because I would like that extra kind of rough, shell-like texture. And then, once I've covered my whole plate in blue, on this I'm just going to do to show you what I did next was I took my hexagons and my glue and I stuck them on as a pattern on the shell. If you use school glue it's kind of nice you can put a bit on the bottom and then you can add more on the top to stick it down and it gives it kind of a shiny appearance you see. I'm going to stick my hexagon shapes just randomly all over my turtle. You see? And then we need to make some eyes, we need to make a head, and some arms and legs. This is where I have my cardstock. But you can see this was the piece that I'd actually used. Um, I think, I'm not sure what I had on here. I had something stuck on here. Maybe it was a speech I was making one day, and I decided to take that off and reuse, reuse and recycle. And I just imagine what the turtle's legs look like. Or you can look at a picture, you can research a picture on the computer, or you can look for pictures in magazines or books. And I had a look at kind of what a turtle's arms and legs look like. And the front, they're more like flippers. So I imagined what that flipper was like. You can draw yours first if you would like to. And I just cut it out from green. And then I'm just going to stick my flippers and then I'm going to cut out a head. Now I had turtles that I see, they kind of have, they get a point at the nose. So I'm going to cut this out with kind of a, kind of a point at the nose. Kind of a point, can you see? Oh, and then I need some eyes. So for the eyes, I'm just going to take some of the green paper I had. Do you know what? This is a this is a really good trick. So if you have paper and you want to cut out two things the same size, just fold it and then cut it out of both of the papers, and then you'll get two. Gotta, 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 gotta. And then I put some glue on, and I have my two eyes, which I will draw in the pupil. And then when I'm done, your turtle may look a little bit like this. This was my finished turtle. And as you can see, it's very simple. 
And guys, I'll even show you the back. I just stuck everything around with the blue tape. And I kind of like that um, my turtle could flap his hands, well, its arms and legs and head. So I didn't stick them on too much. And it's nice when you feel it because I used the school glue kind of flattened everything down and made it a little bit shiny. And all I did on the legs was I drew some kind of shapes on it in a green marker. So you can do your turtle any way that you would like to. Tortuga! I can't wait to see your tortuga. If you have not already, please go into the description, join our Facebook group if you're a member of Facebook group and share your pictures. I would love to see what your sweet children, what you guys come up with. I'd love to see your images of your turtles. We're going to finish today and learn a little song about a, a turtle. It's a silly little song. I will also put the link to the song in the description so you can listen to the real version at home too. It goes like this. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank a bowl of water. He ate a bowl of soap. And then he went to bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, pop! It's a silly little song, but I thought it was a lovely one. We're going to finish today with our pranayama breathing exercise. And let's pretend that we are a turtle crawling up to the sand, ready to lay our eggs. So take a deep breath in. Shoulders up and down in your back pockets. My friends, I can't wait to see your turtles. Don't forget, join us tomorrow. It's Science Experiment Day and we are making a tornado.